In this video we're going to look at variables and escape sequences in PHP. So we can create any variable we want starting with the dollar sign. So I'm going to create a variable called price and I can set that equal to some number. So I'm going to do this without the quotation marks first. Let's say this is my price, $12.50. Now if I write, wrap that inside of double quotation marks what happens is the PHP interpreter looks at this and says, okay, it's inside double quotes, I can find variables. Here's a dollar sign. That means this is a variable. So it's going to try and take the 1250 and turn that into a variable. Now, you can't have variables that are just numeric. So we've got a problem here. If this were part of a sentence and we put the dollar sign into that sentence, whatever character comes after the dollar sign, PHP will try to interpret as a variable. So what we need to do to avoid this problem is add the escape character, this backslash. By doing that, we've said, okay, whatever comes after this backslash, just treat it as if it were a normal piece of text. It doesn't have any special meaning whatsoever. So if I echo out the price, jump into the browser and run this. There we go. There's the 1250. That is the thing that we wanted to write out. All right, so simple enough for dollar sign. Backslashes themselves, those are special characters because that's the escape sequence. If I want to write out one of those inside some double quotes, I can't just do this because this is going to say that Oh, you want an escape sequence. That means that the quotation mark is a special character. So I'm going to treat it just like text. If I want the backslash, I have to do two of them. The first one is the escape sequence. The second one is the character that I actually want to write. Here again, if I write this out, there we go. There is my single backslash. All right, great. Now, HTML. Very often in HTML, we have double quotation marks. So if I were going to write out uh, here's image source equals and then I've got a variable for this thing. So we have the dollar sign to start off our variable then we have price or not price but uh, source. This is going to be where the image is coming from dollar sign uh, we can have a title, we should have an alt, and any one of these things could be a variable as well. So variables, double quotes, potentially more variables, like that. If I wanted to output that through PHP, if I'm writing an echo statement and I want to put out those things, I need to be able to handle some characters being special characters, some characters not being special characters. So source equals image.jpg. Now we don't have an image.jpg, but that's fine. This is just for illustration purposes. There's the title and the alt. Oh, we're using the same variable for that one. Okay. So echo, echo, I want to write out this. I'm just going to copy it from here. Start with quotes, end with quotes. Paste our string in, bet in between there. Okay, now the PHP interpreter in Dreamweaver is seeing this and saying, hey, that's a variable, okay quotation marks. That's a special character. That means it's the end of the string. So this is a string, and then you've got a variable, and then this is a string, and then you get a variable, and this is a string, and a variable, and a string at the end. But I don't want to end this at this point. I actually want this to be part of the string that I'm writing out. So I need to come along here and say, okay, that, and that, and that, and that, and that and that. 
all of those quotation marks are part of the string that I want to output. I don't want to ruin this. I do want this variable to be interpreted, but I don't want the quotation marks. I do want this variable to be interpreted, but I don't want those quotation marks to be ruined. I do want this to be interpreted, but not this. So if I save all that, come back to the browser, and I refresh. Oh. Okay, so the problem is right here. I accidentally put a dollar sign in front of the echo command. That was treating echo as if it were a variable. All right, there we go. So there is our image tag right there. We get the title as the mouse over text. If I view the page source, here we are. Image source. image.jpg is the title, the, title, the alt text is the title as well. Everything's great. Now notice everything is on one line here. All of the code from inside of our page, even though we've written it on a whole bunch of different lines here, is actually showing up in the source code on one single line. Not a problem as far as keeping the source code compressed, so you take up a little bit less memory, but if you're debugging, if you're trying to figure out what's going on and you wanted these things to be on different lines inside the source code, we have to put a new line character inside here. We have to tell it, jump to the next line, jump to the next line. That's another escape sequence. Slash N. And here, I'm going to separate with a space just to make it a little bit easier to see. Slash N, slash N, slash N. There we are. Jump back over here, refresh this, view the page source. There we go. On its own line, on its own line, on its own line, and the closing body tag is on its own line. So, great, we've got that working. Now, what if I wanted in here to have each of these things on their own line? Well, that's the HTML. That's where we add in the BR tags to put these guys on their own line inside the HTML, inside the browser. So, two different things. We've got the BR tags, which will set up the HTML to appear on separate lines, and we've got the slash N for the new line character to make everything in the source code be on its own line. Now, a few other escape sequences that we have. There is tab. And depending on the operating system you're using, there's slash n, there's slash r, and slash r slash n. So these last three, n, r, and rn, those are all jump to the next line, but it depends on which operating system you're working on, which one of those that you could or would want to use.